So we're flushing. Water level is dropping, but we are not feeding. Okay, so if you can see our linkage, it is moving, but no water is feeding in. So most likely our strainer is clogged. So I'm gonna take a half inch socket and loosen up on this. Actually, before I do that, we're gonna go one and two and shut off all the water so we don't flood the place. And I got a bucket underneath just for good measure. So I always do that. Oh, it was going the right way. Oh my God. Already not looking good. <laughs> now we know why it wasn't filling. You hold this bucket up here. Just like that. Give it a quick little flush. Get all that mud out. Okay, now inside there is also a cartridge that we're gonna have to take out. And it's really not in there tight. Very loose, it's almost like I could do it by hand, but you know, just to have like the uh, extra leverage is, is really nice. Ow. I hit my hand and now it's cramping. <laughs> oh my God. I wanna go home. God. So now with the new 47-2 or the 57-2 feeds, if they have the plastic bottom that this one had, you no longer have to change this whole feed assembly. You could just pull up the bottom, put in the new cartridge, put in the new strainer, and that's it, instead of you know taking the whole thing apart. And this is what it's gonna look like. Cartridge strainer, McDonald's Miller. This little O-ring right here. Now look, this is only plastic, so we don't have to put this in super tight. New cartridge, going in. Here are the instructions, and it actually says right here, tighten to approximately two foot pounds. Do not over tighten. That's exactly what we are not gonna do. Go nice and slow. This is super loose. And once I feel any kind of tightness, I'm gonna stop. Right there. That's it. Done. Okay. Grab the whole strainer. Make sure our gasket is secure. Just like that. And then that's gonna pop right there. Four bolts, and we'll turn it on and see how we did. Before we put any of these bolts on, we're gonna give them a nice coating of never seize. Because one day, we are gonna have to take this off again. And if it gets rusted on there, there is no way we're getting it out. Tighten it back up. Okay, everything's back on all nice and tight. I'm gonna open one valve and moment of truth. Well, actually, it's not the moment of truth yet because the water level's still a little too hot. So we're gonna put that there. Flush. That's what we wanna hear. Much better. So that is how you change the strainer and cartridge on a 47-2 McDonald and Miller low water cutoff. And for anybody that wants to know, my hand still hurts. Hope you enjoyed the video though. See you the next.